Θα δώσω στον κύριο Τάκη Παπά, που είναι καθηγητή συγκριτική πολιτική στο Πανεπιστήμιο Μακεδονία και επισκέπτη καθηγητή στο Central European University στην Βουδαπέστη. Ο κύριο Παπά είναι ειδικό στο θέμα του λαϊκισμού και έχει πρόσφατα εκδώσει το βιβλίο Λαϊκισμό και κρίση στην Ελλάδα. Κύριε Παπά, έχει το λόγο. Uh, good evening to all, and thank you very much to Mr. Simeon Tsomokos for inviting me here. It has been a pleasure for me. Uh, now, the task I've been assigned with uh, is to talk about um, what is the title of this, of this presentation, which is exactly that on the slide, Europe Against the Challenges of Extremism and Populism. Uh, previous speakers in the panel talked about those themes. I will differ a bit but this is because of my job, I guess. Uh, so what I'm going to do in the eight minutes I have in my, uh, I have left, seven and a half actually, is I'm going to raise two questions. I will ask who are the challengers in Europe right now, currently, and what is being challenged. And then I will try to provide a rudimentary mapping of those challengers in Europe, and I will try to rank the challenges and the challengers according to the gravity of challenge or threat. Okay, now, we've been accustomed to newspaper articles and talk like this, and, uh, and newspaper articles like, you know, populists, and, you know, we talk about Donald Trump, and uh, uh, Marine Le Pen, and Farage, and uh, Gerd Wilders, etc. But who are those people? Are those populists? Are those extremists? Are those both of them? Are they something else? And what is the relationship of those, of those gentlemen with these gentlemen, for example? Are we talking about the same thing? And how about those guys who, in uniform, run up and down the Hungarian street? Are those populists something else? And look who are here. How about those guys? Are those still the same cup of tea, perhaps? Well, let's see. I think that Europe currently is faced with three challenges, three very different, distinct challenges. The first is non-democratic extremism. The second challenge is right-wing nativism. And the third challenge is populism. Now, let me define those three things very, very minimally. Non-democratic extremism means very simply the negation of plural democracy, of representative, representative democracy. This is the reverse of plural democracy. Writing nativism means political liberalism for the natives. It excludes aliens from domestic liberal democratic practices. And finally, populism means very, very simply, very minimally, uh, democratic illiberalism. This is how I define that, this is the definition I, I use in my work, so I define populism very, very minimally as democratic liberalism. Uh, I may explain that in the Q&A session. Now, my point is that each challenge corresponds to one of the three pillars of contemporary European democracy, which are those. First, democratic pluralism, this is the first pillar. The second is multi-ethnic federalism, Robert Schuman's the ever closer union, if you like. And the third pillar is political liberalism. Now, having said that, let me go on and try to provide a map of the challengers, of the three different challengers, right-wing extremism. How widespread is that in Europe? Not that much, allow me to say. Uh, we have right-wing extremist parties in Greece, Hungary, and we had the Front National in France before Marine Le Pen. Now, the Front National is something different. Now, populists and nativists. Uh, whatever is blue here is nativism. Whatever is yellow is populism. And France is a mixed case, I think. It's a mixed bag. 
it is populism, it combines populism and nativism. Now, what you see here is that, as Mr. Mandopoulou said correctly, populism is very predominant in the South, but also in the Visegrad, in the Visegrad uh, states. Uh, nativism is very, very strong everywhere, almost everywhere in the North and in the UK. Okay, the next slide is left and right. Uh, nativism is always right wing. Okay, that's, that's blue. And then you have challengers who are, which are, who are both on the left, red, Spain. Spain has only left wing challengers, Podemos. Uh, and you have, on, on the right is everything there blue. And then you have countries with both left wing and right wing challengers, the yellow countries. Party position, how strong are those? How strong are those challengers? So what we see here is number one, the red, is countries where the challengers are in power already. They're in power in Greece, of course, uh, Hungary, Poland, Slovakia, and Switzerland. The SVP, uh, the, uh, the Swiss People's Party, they are in government, they govern, that's a populist party. Uh, oops, sorry. Number, uh, number two, represents the countries where the challengers, be those nativists or populists, are in uh, are the major opposition party, that's Italy, Finland, and Denmark. And then number three, you have countries where challengers are very, very strong. Those are in third, in third place. Now, let me try to rank the challengers, and I will finish with that. Uh, as I said, Europe's major issues of discord are over democracy, one, federalism, two, and liberalism third. And this is the slide I showed earlier. I'm showing that again. Europe's three current challengers are non-democratic extremism, right-wing, uh, nativism, and populism. Now, how do I rank them? Uh, I think that non-democratic extremism is the lesser threat, really. Right-wing nativism is a serious threat. It is an emerging phenomenon. It's, it's becoming stronger and stronger. And, but I think that the most important threat for liberal democracy in Europe is populism. This is getting very, very widespread. It was not there in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Right? Uh, populism is a phenomenon that emerges in the 70s. As a matter of fact, ASOC was the first strong populist party in Europe, and then it contaminated the entire political system in Greece. And I believe, in my opinion, populism is the most important, the most serious threat to liberal democracy uh, today in Europe. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.